Forgive us on our dreams have been so strong. Forgive us, O oh God, when we have settled for so little. Forgive us, Father, for those moments when we have not stepped into those circumstances and situations that you've called us to. Forgive us when we've been held captive by our fear. Forgive us, O oh God, when we have not believed in ourselves and we've allowed the others to be the ones that make us and tell us who we should be. And Lord God, I pray that today you'd open up the heavens, open up the floodgates of the heavens. Let your rain fall upon continents. Let your rain fall upon ISIS. Let your rain fall upon your people in this city and in this nation. That Lord Jehovah God, you raise up for yourself many and women that will stand in the gap for this generation. And we thank you for these young people, for each one of them that they are here in this moment. And Lord God, I pray that their lives will connect to them, which is your plan and purpose for their lives. I pray, Father God, that you would lift them up, that their lives will be a testimony of your greatness and of your faithfulness. We pray, Lord God, for encouragement for those that are discouraged this morning. We pray, Father God, for those that have broken dreams. And in this moment, Lord God, we pray that out of their broken dreams, you would give them a new dream. And that Father, you take them to the next level in their work. We pray for those of us that are trusting you for great and big dreams. Lord Jehovah God, I pray that you help us to be obedient, to be faithful in the moment that we would experience your blessing in your favor. I pray for those amongst us who today are trusting you for provision to go to school, provision for different things. Lord Jehovah God, show yourself strong on their behalf. You chose David, a small young boy that was out there taking care of sheep, and you called him, and you called him a man after your own heart. So, Father, may you find a man as men and women that you call your friends. You say that in your word, your eyes are throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are turned towards you. And in this moment, we turn our hearts towards you, God. May we find favor with you. May we experience your mercy and your grace. Because you are the mighty and the awesome God. So we choose to give you praise of that which is to come. We lift up our hands to you in expectation of you, expecting of that which you are going to do. Our hearts are open to receive of you, God. So may you fill our, our lips with words of hope. May you fill our lips with words that speak faith. May you fill our lips, of God, with words that bring about transformation. So use us, use us as consciousness, that we will be a beacon that shines upon this city. That we will be a beacon of hope that shines upon this nation. We will be a beacon of hope that shines upon this continent of Africa. We give you praise, we give you glory, Lord. Be exalted and demand. We worship you today. We exalt you. We pray this to living in trust in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's please go ahead and take your seats for a short breath.